All right, this is the second part of the .NET Nuke installation. Uh, we just want to verify that we have our database created. So we'll open up uh, SQL Server Management Studio. You can see that we have our database that we've created. If you don't have one, right click on databases, click New Database, and just give it a name and then click OK at the bottom. Um, you can see that my database doesn't have any tables. This is just the default, and that's all you need. So let's go to the start menu and bring up the browser. And we're going to launch our uh, virtual directory name that we created earlier. So it's localhost, uh, which is this computer, slash DNN local. Uh, initially, this takes a little bit of time to load. But uh, once it's loaded, you should see this page here. And we're going to leave the default settings of typical and, of course, language as English. Uh, ignore the error message down at the bottom. This is just stating that the SQL Server hasn't been set up ahead of time, meaning all the tables and everything, or the access, I should say. So now we can test our permissions to make sure that that's working properly. Everything looks good. We'll click Next. This, will, this step actually takes a little bit of time as well. Once it comes up, uh, this, this is acting a little bit weird. So if you click on SQL Server, 2000, 2005, 2008, uh, you should see server and database, not server and file name. Uh, I've noticed that if you play with like the integrated security button and just click on that uh, checkbox, uh, it'll refresh and then you'll see server and database. So now we can put in server, which is localhost again, and the database is DNN local. We do not want to use integrated security, so we'll go ahead and turn that off. Why it checks it again, I don't know. And as it refreshes, uh, we'll be able to put in the username and password that we specified uh, when initially setting up SQL Server. This takes a little bit of time. User ID is SA, and the password I had set was just 123. And everything else can be left as default. Test our connection, and we have success. So now we'll click Next to go to the next step. And this is where it's creating all the tables. It's running a bunch of scripts to actually set up the database. So we'll let this run. OK, that's complete. Next. And as soon as that is done, it's going to ask you to create a couple of accounts. One is the host account. Now, the, the .NET Nuke portal, .NET Nuke portal uh, can have multiple websites or host multiple websites. So that's why you have this host account. The host account has that high level control of the entire portal. Uh, and then you have another account that we're going to create right after this um, for the administrator of the actual site that is the default site that we're creating. I'm just going to use uh, DNN, or DIY DNN at yahoo.com. That email doesn't exist, so don't send me anything there. Server localhost. Now, we don't have SMTP server settings set up, and what that is is email. So just disregard any error that we get for that. Um, looks like I need a longer password. Click Next. And we should do the same thing for our admin account now. So <clears throat> you could change the first name and last name if you want. I'm just going to leave as admin, admin123, admin123, uh, DIYDNN at yahoo.com. This information doesn't really matter. You can always go in and change it later. And we'll just leave it at my website. Click Next. And I believe that is the last step. Let's wait for it to load. And our website has been set up. At this point, we can click on Finished to go to the site. It'll take a little bit of time to load initially. And scroll down, you can see the whole site here. And that's about it. 